Hi guys, welcome back. So on this episode, it's just the part two to the um, 420cc engine that we're building for this thing. Um, so it's just going to show me fit the exhaust, fuel filter, fuel lines, and the McKinney carb 34 millimeter, uh, and basically putting everything back together. So all the painted parts. Just literally finishing the engine off, ready to go in this once I've finished building it. So this is going to be in the next few episodes, there'll be one on the frame and then there'll be one on all of the other parts and checking on and then there'll be maybe another two and the last one I'll be racing this around the track. So on this episode, just going to show you the engine, get it finished, let's get into it. So now I've got all the exhaust off. I bought one of these exhaust uh, pipes from Amazon um, or Trade Me. I'll put the link below. Uh, I did have to modify it slightly, so it was facing straight out, which is no good for me because I need it facing upwards. So I just chopped this flange off turned it around and re-welded it. So, the exhaust is pretty easy. Just in case of taking the old one off. Two bolts. Putting the new one on. I will be wrapping this, um, but I've just not got any stainless cable ties here at the moment. When I do, I'll wrap this up. I've added an extra arm in here because these have a tendency of vibrating a lot, uh, especially with the muscle on the end and cracking, so it's just to give it a bit of extra support. So here's the exhaust, the little muffler I also got off of um, Amazon, trade me, both have them. Just in case of three bolts on. literally as simple as putting your silicon hose joiner, clamping it up onto the king side. There's an adapter plate just in here um, which you then slide the silicon on and join that up. Uh, in this video I've still got to attach the um, throttle cable which I'll do, still got to do, put the pod filter on. Uh, we'll be putting the pump on and then we'll be connecting the fuel line up with a filter um, and basically just putting the whole thing back together so it's all ready for the hoon car project. I will be removing this also because on the last car I actually turned it on its side and changed it into kind of a little mini dash. So I might do something similar to that again, but I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, basically putting everything together now on the stage one um, kit and 
then we'll be done. And then the next video will be carrying on with this frame over here, uh, which is the start of the chassis to the Huni cart that I'm gonna do. It's like similar, um, like kind of, you get the kind of design I'm kind of do. It might not be exact, um, but that's the kind of style that I'm gonna go for. All right, so to start off with, I'll be attaching the tank back on, which is just two M8 bolts. We're going for these guys, and then two M8 nuts on these two here. So I'll start doing that now, and I'll attach the fuel line and the fuel filter. It comes in some handy little clips. So before I do that, I'm just going to get a couple of clips out of this bag here, just your standard, and the spring clips, and I will attach the hose to the bottom of the tank before I put it back on, just to make it a bit easier. If you're going to remove this box, just make you sure you hook the, the air cable back to where it was. I suppose you'll have issues later on. You see all over this that I've got the stickers and adept visuals. It's where I get all my stuff from. It's based here in Christchurch. Um, I highly rec recommend he's going to be doing, well, I already has them, uh, all the stickers ready to go on the pick up. Um, so you can find him on Facebook, look him up and contact him. So if you're going to be removing this and using it as a dash or just relocating it somewhere else, it's always a good idea to label where these came off, just so just makes it easier later on when you're doing the reassemble, uh, just so you don't get the wrong wire in the wrong place. Also, uh, on this, they have a low oil sensor here, which you want to remove. You're definitely going to need to remove it uh, if you're doing go karts like off road, any jumps or anything that the oil level drops below the sensor. Just cut the engine off, it's a safety measure. Uh, so to remove that, it's literally as easy as taking that wire off, removing this little block, which is just one eight mil. And then just throwing that away because it's no good. Put this bolt back in. Might want to pick up, pick up on it for some reason later on. You can just cut that wire back if you want, or you can also just tie it up with your cables once you've connected the back. 
And I'll pair on with the builder. Okay, from this way, in through the top, out through the bottom. So this is going to this point here on the cap. So there's handy, there's a hole here. Um, so I might put the filter around about here and put a cable tie over it just to hold it steady. Roughly get it to where you want. So right here. Not too tight, you obviously don't want to squash the fuel line, it's just tight enough to kind of just hold it in place. Might just be a little bit too long this pipe here, should kind of be like a downward because it's gravity fed, so I might just take this pipe off, just trim it down just so it's aiming a bit more. installed on the camera. Basically take this top plate off. Right now what you do is you take this piece here and you thread it through this hole inside here and you put the, the gasket on you've got this piece that I just showed you with the end piece that goes on slides over then the wire slides in this little groove and you've got to compress the spring and slot and 
slot this cable down the top for a hole and just out of this piece here. It's not easy, it's a bit fiddly. And that little white bit you click over I mean that locks the front cable in place. So just do this up now. So I should be able to pull this and the throttle should open and close. So now we can get on the fit in this pod filler, which is just the case of Thank you for watching.